Good afternoon for everyone who is interested in applying for the 2022 Indigenous Mural Project with the Town of Canmore. My name is Nikki Packus. I am the Arts and Culture Coordinator for the Town of Canmore, and I will be taking you through a brief presentation outlining the project, uh, timelines, budget, uh, information, and the application process for the mural project. Before I begin outlining exactly what I'll be talking about, I wanted to take the opportunity to acknowledge that I am currently in Canmore, Alberta, and this location is within the Treaty 7 region of Southern Alberta, the traditional territory of the Iarhe Nakoda, comprised of the Beresfaw, Chiniki, and Wesley First Nations, the Sutina First Nation, and the Blackfoot Confederacy, comprised of the Siksika, Pikani, and Kainai. The area is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3, within the historical Northwest Métis homeland. I'm very honored and grateful to be living and practicing my preferred activities here. In this presentation, I'm going to go through the eligibility for this project, the project description, the budget, timeline, a description of the residency, how to apply, the selection process, and then if there are any questions, I will cover questions. The eligibility for this project uh, are self-identifying First Nations, Métis, and Inuit artists and artist teams living or working on Treaty 6, 7, or 8, and on the unceded territory of what is now known as British Columbia to submit their qualifications and proposals for the design of an exterior site specific mural. So again, this is for self-identifying First Nations, Métis and Inuit artists. What we're looking for in this project is a site specific mural. I'll show images of the site itself and where the site is located on a map uh, for the town of Canmore. Um, but the project was born out of the town of Canmore's cultural master plan that noted culture shapes the physical and social character of Canmore and recommended an increase in the presence and visibility of indigenous culture throughout the town. This mural project takes the opportunity to create respectful ways to support indigenous presence in Canmore's cultural landscapes and narratives to ensure they help shape its sense of place. This project also works to address the current gap of Indigenous art in our current public art collection. We're seeking, as I've noted earlier, an exterior site specific mural to offer residents and visitors the opportunity to connect and engage with the artistic expressions, continued cultures, stories, and histories of Indigenous peoples. So this photo was taken on a very, very gray day in Canmore, but you can imagine that the location uh, is perfect for just about anything, colorful or not. Uh, the wall itself is 75 feet wide and 16 feet tall. Um, you can see sort of towards just from the center off to the right, uh, there is an image in between the two windows of the building, there is an electric vehicle charging station. So this is just a rendering of what the charging station will look like and its, and its proposed location. It's not currently installed, but it will be by the time uh, the mural is ready to go up. So artists should consider uh, the wall in its entirety, as well as any visual impediments to the wall, such as the vehicle charging station. Um, I'd like you to keep in mind, too, that the vehicle charging station is not directly against the wall. It's offset about half a meter, so it allows for color or design to go behind it. The site itself is located right in the heart of downtown Canmore, so I've drawn on the map here where you can, uh, where you can find 
the wall in downtown Canmore. So it's at 907 7th Avenue and it's a west facing wall. It's on the back of the town of Canmore's arts and events building. Uh, prior to this mural, uh, there was a, another mural that was deaccessioned in 2021 after repairs needed to be done to the building. Because of its centrality to Canmore's busy downtown core, the location for the mural project will encourage significant public engagement both during and after the installation of the mural. So we look forward to anticipating a lot of public awareness and excitement about it. The budget for this piece, the final artist will be paid $8,000 Canadian, inclusive of GST, the cost for insurance and the materials and equipment necessary for the installation. So artists are required to ensure that they have the correct insurance for this project, as well as the materials and equipment necessary. And the cost for those things can come out of the $8,000 budget. The town of Canmore will also contribute up to $2,000 Canadian, including GST, for the selected artist or artist team's travel, accommodation, and food costs. There is additional budget set aside for the residency, which I will address later in this presentation, but the commission for the project, again, is $8,000 Canadian, with up to $2,000 Canadian for travel, accommodation, and food expenses while working on the project. So the timeline for this project is the following. So call for proposals, the call went out on February 22nd and proposals are accepted until 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time on April 19th. We will contact shortlisted artists no later than April 29th. The shortlisted artists of which there will be three um, are invited to participate in a three to five day residency in Canmore sometime between May 13th and June 13th, 2022. Those dates will be established between the shortlisted artists and the town of Canmore to ensure that the artists have the opportunity to come and see the site in person and engage with the community. I will go over more information about the residencies in a minute. Once the residencies are completed, the, uh, the shortlisted artists will have until 4.30 p.m. on August 8th to submit their final design for the mural. The final artist selection will occur on August the 12th. The mural installation dates are scheduled for between September 6th and 15th with an unveiling to the public on September 16th. The residency. So three shortlisted artists will be will be invited to participate in this residency of which uh, artists can decide between three and five days. And the residency is designed to provide artists with the opportunity to engage with the broader Canmore community, the town of Canmore's cultural advisory committee and the town of Canmore's public art committee. During the residency, artists will be expected to present to the community details of their proposed mural design. We have no fixed expectations as to what this presentation looks like. It can be formal in nature or it can be culturally traditional. So anything from PowerPoint presentations in a theater style uh, setting will work or conversation around a fire or public conversations. Uh, in a park setting. Anything works. We just want to be able to connect the artists with the community to help ensure a shared experience and connection with the project. For the residency, the town of Canmore will provide accommodation for the selected shortlisted artists. Um, so details regarding this residency, including the dates, as I noted before, will be developed collaboratively between the shortlisted artists and the town of Canmore. Shortlisted artists will be compensated to a maximum of $2,000 during their residency for travel and expenses, as well as a flat rate fee of $328 for the presentation. So again, the town of Canmore will uh, cover the accommodations 
or the shortlisted artists, and we will compensate for travel and food expenses up to $2,000. So how to apply for this project. First, I encourage you to visit canmore.ca slash art calls to download the complete project description and submission form. Everything that I'm addressing in this presentation here is within that, pre is within that document for your review. The submission form, a critical element of submitting for this project is also at the end of that document. So applications will require the submission form, an artist statement and biography. We've set a maximum of one page for that, a statement of intent, a concept design. So this will be a mock-up of your proposed design for the mural. We're looking for two references, your resume or CV and examples of your previous work. Details for what your artist statement and bio, statement of intent, um, concept design, details for what those um, should address are in the art call um, at the URL above, canmore.ca slash art calls. Submissions are due by 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time on Tuesday, April 19th, 2020. All submissions are being accepted by email However, the town of Canmore supports accessibility accommodations and encourages any interested artists or artist teams to contact us at artsandculture@canmore.ca to discuss application assistance. So if the online submission form or the requirements for what we're asking doesn't suit you, please get in touch with us and we'll help to figure out a way for you to submit your proposal for this project. The selection process for the submissions are as follows. So it's a two-stage jury process. Stage one is currently open right now. So it's our open call for proposals, which runs from February 22nd to April 19th, with three shortlisted artists selected by April 29th, 2022. From there, those shortlisted artists will do the three to five day residency in Canmore, sometime between May 13th and June 13th. The final design submissions from those shortlisted artists are due by August 8th. From there, the final artist selection is made no later than August 12th, and then we'll work with the final selected artists to secure the contract and details for the mural installation. All eligible proposals will be reviewed by an Indigenous advisor and a jury determined by the Town of Canmore's Cultural Advisory Committee. The evaluation of the submissions are guided by, although not limited to, some of the following. The artist's or artist's understanding of the project, how the artist or artist backgrounds will contribute to the project, demonstrated artistic excellence and creativity, the response to the site location, both the geographical and cultural location. Relevant experience in completing public art projects of a similar scope and the potential impact of the proposed artwork. So any questions that you might have about this project, please direct them to artsandculture@canmore.ca. So anything from eligibility requirements to the submission process to the selection process are welcome here. Um, we look forward to receiving applications from near and far, and we very much look forward to what this project will bring. Thank you for attending this. Um, again, my name is Nikki Packus. I am the Arts and Culture Coordinator with the Town of Canmore, and we look forward to hearing from you.